celebrities who got shot down after publicly declaring their love for other stars. If you shot your shot with somebody, and this happens more to men, but it happens to women sometimes, and they shut you down, call us, 800-682-1075. You're not alone. We all have a story. All right, for example, Drake presented Rihanna with an award at the 2016 VMAs. He declared his love for her on stage. He went in for a kiss. This is before the Me Too movement. Oh, yeah. Uh, she turned her head and only got a cheek and later said, I don't like to be put on blast. We don't have a friendship now. Yeah, because they were mm. like BFFs. And he says, yeah. we're not enemies, but I'm not your friend anymore after what you did. <laughs> so he shot a shot and got rejected <laughs> hard. Uh, and then blamed her. Yeah. 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 He tried no, to kiss she, her. No, she said that. Oh, she said Rihanna that. Said said he that. said that. No, sorry. Uh-huh. Maybe I did, but Rihanna said that. No, so, I agree with that. Not, mm. Said you shot your shot. I don't even want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> because that makes <laughs> that it uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why me and Margot Robbie aren't talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> don't make it weird. Oh, I thought she was sad about the uh, the uh, end, or the nomination. I, yeah, I didn't realize it was you. Yeah, of course she don't care about Barbie. Nom- noms is about Jason Goodman. In 2015, you may remember Justin Bieber called Jennifer Lawrence so sexy and so cute. When asked about it, she said, uh, "That's a hard no." <gasps> That's, mm. what you're That's a hard one. <laughs> and although that was nine years ago, how old was he? Yeah, he was over like two, maybe 20, 21. Uh, now Horan tried some online flirting with Katy Perry in 2013. Oh, he's just a baby. Katy Perry right. said, I could babysit him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep telling him, don't get interested in girls that wear Spanx. I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Self deprecating, so said, you like it more. Then she said, yet, wait till later. Then it happens. Aaron Carter and Hillary Duff dated when they were children. More than a dozen years later, he talked about losing the love of his life, Hillary Duff, Ooh. and never giving up on getting her back. And she's like, look, that was a long time ago. I'm married and have a kid. Yeah. yeah. I think she just had her second one. With it's like, we yeah. don't know each other like that anymore. And Please stop. She, she is beautiful, though. Yeah, she looks good for her age. I don't know how mm-hmm. old she is, but she looks she's probably like 38, oh, yeah. 39, yeah. 40. I thought she was going to have a problem, but it's fine. She <laughs> looks good. Oh, you my. thought she had the fat potential? Well, she yeah, is 36. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful. Oh, Hillary Duff? Yes, yeah. yeah. Yes. And did she get divorced and remarried, or something? I think else? she did get... I don't know. I think divorced, she did, because she, she was on dating DJ. apps for a while. That's right. Yeah, she married That's that right. DJ. Because yeah. she kept getting kicked off of dating apps, because they're like, this profile's fake. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really on here. There's no way Hillary Duff is on uh, Bumble. All right, in 2013, Jennifer Love Hewitt made a play for Adam Levine... Oh, on, yeah. On oh. Ellen, publicly. Oh, I forgot about that. And next time Adam Levine was on Ellen, he called the move aggressive. But at a quote, it was really sweet and flattering. Beautiful life, you know, when a beautiful woman says nice things about you. Yeah, could be worse. She used to Man. be like, yes. She used to be the one everyone wanted. Jennifer yep. Love Hewitt. Definitely the girl next door look. Yes. For sure. Very pretty. Um, 800 682 1075. Tell us about the time you shot your shot and were rejected. Matt. I know this has happened to you. I'm shooting 100 percent, Playa. <laughs> you know who you're talking to over here, That's my boy. Oh. No, I did. I did take a girl one time to the movies, and I, the whole time I was under the impression that it was a date, and I didn't understand why she would think it wasn't. And then she just was on her phone constantly. And then after dinner, I was like, "Who are you texting?" And she's like, "This guy I'm into." Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, my goodness. Oh, damn! Damn! damn. damn. She, she wasn't texting like me. Tripper. Ouch! Man. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like Tripper. Yeah. Toxic yeah. Queen. And man. I was trying to figure out. I was trying to put it together. Like, what would have insinuated that this wasn't a date? Because like we ha- we weren't really friends. There oh, was that's... no like friends zone. There wasn't like a like we kind of knew some of the same people, but there was no indication that we were even in the friend zone. So I, that kind of really caught me off guard. Mm. Um, that is the worst terrible. feeling in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they, that's like when Tripper brought his date some smoking hot blonde to uh, <laughs> what? Taylor Swift, right? Yes, Taylor yeah. Swift. I'm like, my gosh, she was like successful and the hottest. And uh, nothing. I think she just thought they were friends and he was taking her to Taylor Swift. But Got the car tickets. Tri- right. Tripper sets mm-hmm. himself up to right. sound like a friend. Yes. Matt probably didn't. That's true. I mean, years ago, and I don't know if it's illegal, but Tripper left his Facebook Messenger up. I think <laughs> it for some... No, it wasn't. It was the AOL thing back at the time. Oh, okay. Whatever. What was that thing? The I am. The I am. am. Oh, yeah. He left it up. Yeah, because he was on AOL up until like, like last year. Yeah, he was on yeah. way too long. We're like, it's time to, time <laughs> he, to legit, he legit sent an email this week saying, hey, don't email my AOL address anymore. <laughs> it's getting deleted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Your CD-ROM broke. Uh, but <laughs> And he left it up, and me and Jason were like, what is this? Yeah. And this interaction with a girl, and she is basically yep. throwing yep. herself at him. Mm-hmm. Can I come over? I'd love to see. It's like, and we look at the time, like 1 a.m. 
And he's like, why would you want to come over someone like me? And she was like, my clothes need to be washed right now that I'm wearing. Is there any way I could use your washing machine? <laughs> well, sure. If you want, um, I'll just uh, leave you the key and I'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'll give you a list of good laundry mats. You're like, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I mean, it was, I'm not yes. saying, it, we weren't reading between the lines. She was throwing yes. her, and every, he was CBing himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was totally just ruining for himself. Yeah. I don't know um, whatever happened. And, and meanwhile, he like goes really, really hard for my friend who's a lesbian. Who like, <laughs> has a wife, and he's like, you think, I don't you think there's a chance? And I was like, <laughs> no. no, there's no chance. Who? Uh, my friend Christina, she's moved now to L Arizona. Lipstick? lipstick? Um, she's cute. She's more like <laughs> that girl next door. But her wife is more the lipstick, but she's a very oh, fun, okay. yeah. like, just an awesome girl. And she hung out, and Tripper kept asking her out, and she yeah. thought, like, friends, like, yeah, ob obviously. And then all of a sudden, um, they go out to, uh, they go out, and he, like, makes a move, and she's like, I'm gay, Tripper. There's absolutely <laughs> nothing you can do to change this. And he was like, I had, how am I going to fix this? I'm like, well, you're I, not. He's like, we, you're <laughs> not going to fix the gay. We'll I mean, do, it's, we'll do, it's go, there, man. Can I take it. you to a pray away gay camp? I mean, I don't know what, no. but then he does these beautiful straight women who are into him, and he, he ruins it. Tells them he'll leave them he in I mean, I've never seen it. I was like, oh, my. Yeah. Me and Jason, it, it was like reading a. Uh, a, a novel that we just couldn't believe, like a, a mystery. We're like, how's this going to end? And we're like, oh, he <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> he ruined it quickly. And I asked uh, him the other day, I said, have, are you seeing anyone? He goes, you know, I just don't think women are into this, like working in the evenings, nights, not being home much. And I said, that is absolutely what women our age are into. Like you never being there. This is a perfect match. Yeah, like, what are you thinking? Every woman wants this. Mm. All right. If you shot your shot and got rejected, call us 800-682-1075. Jason Goodman, there's no way you've ever been rejected. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do a, um, when I realize that I'm not getting where I'm trying to get uh, as far as the relationship goes, um, I do um, a couple of techniques and strategies. Uh -huh. um, one worked, one didn't. Um, the first strategy was uh, when I started feeling, if any type of feeling of a friend thing, then I just go for it. I'd be like, I got this girl tickets. This is a long time ago, an outside event to Maroon 5. She was in the VIP row. I thought, this is how I'm going to leverage her. I'm like, I got this. <laughs> No problem. I got VIP area where she go eat and drink with me, and I'm you know I'm acting cool like she definitely wants me. Right. I come and I see her in the VIP area, and I thought she would like bring her friend. She brought like a guy she like no yeah, uh. to to it, and I was like what? And that's when I just was like, how am I gonna get through this? So I took her aside, <laughs> and I'm like, I just let you know I don't know if I can hang out with you. My feelings are so strong for you. <laughs> My God. You are such a manipulator. So I don't know if I can do this anymore. And I literally think she was contemplating faking she liked me for more tickets. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's people like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't work. She never, it never didn't nothing. amount to anything. And then, <laughs> and then another time, I did the exact same thing with another girl. And I think she was really lonely in um, at Desperate? ODU. Oh. And the Hispanic girl with the Chihuahua. That's why. Yeah. And um, <laughs> she basically was like, I was like, same thing, like, I don't know if we could continue hanging out as friends because it's just so unfair to me. And uh, <laughs> she finally gave in, and we hooked up. But I oh. think she was embarrassed to tell anybody that we hooked up, so she, like, avoided me at all times. <laughs> in, in public, yeah. she that's avoided a, me. And then, like, feeling. late at night when nobody was around, she'd be like, hey, you want to hang out? I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were her booty call. You were the booty call. I mean, I was, like, yeah. kind of like, it's kind of. You were her 2 a.m. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the grading at the yeah. same time. I'm it. honored. I, <laughs> right, I get it. <laughs> but you'll still show up. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm the worst possible one <laughs> she would ever hook up with, she was really hot, so I'll take it. You're like, I don't care. I'm not going to, you know. By the way, Josie's filling in for Katie today. Josie, as a woman, women typically don't shoot their shot. Have you ever been rejected? Or I'm sure you've done some rejecting. I, I've rejected, uh, but I'm trying. There was, but one thing that sticks out in mind is in seventh grade at the dance when I was dancing with uh. Tom Laws. Hey, uh -huh. Tom. God, women He's hold grudges. <laughs> so Tom, grade. And I, Tom and I ended up hooking up a few. Many years later, seventh grade. You know, we're what twelve, and I'm, we're dancing, and I'm like, this is it. This is the man that I have tried to get. I grew boobs in seventh grade, so this is the man I've been trying to get for years. I get boobs. <laughs> I feel we're dancing. I'm, I do. I'm here for it. You know, we're dancing, you know, with the arms straight out on each other's shoulders. Right. And somebody goes, oh, my God, are you guys going out? And I was like, yeah. As Tom Laws is shaking his hand. No. Oh, no, 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 no. no. And I dropped my arms. I was like, oh. 
And I just ran and cried in the bathroom the rest of the night in my bodysuit. My Tom boots. was like, I can't get a word in. How am I supposed no, to pay for No, Tom came back years later. That's Tom why he didn't say no. He had to missing. shake his head no. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, man. You didn't get in a word in to say no. I'm going to bring in a rescue to Ella to work on Monday just to listen to Jason. <laughs> yeah, I guess like he, or Josie lost her voice, and then he was like, I'll date you now. <laughs> All right. Gosh. It happens. I remember being at BYU, our church school, Idaho campus. I didn't nice. qualify for the nice uh, Utah campus. Yeah. You were allowed to date under 18? Eight? No, I was in college. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just got back from my mission, so I was 21. And the f- what they do at BYU, maybe there's other colleges, I don't know. Now, this is the most Mormon Christian uh, Mormon thing. setup thing. <laughs> but you go like dorm to dorm, and the people just have their dorms open. Was it co-ed? Was it, it, it teaching you to go door to door when you go on your... Yeah. Have you heard the good words, I've sir. done two <laughs> years going door to door, so I was... But it was it was kind of like the orientation night or like... It was like a, a tradition at BYU. Okay. But, but you had co-ed... No, co- not co-ed dorms, but the guys would... So all the guys would go to the girls' dorm. It's like trick-or-treating in a way, now that I think oh. about it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Elder Pike. Yeah, I'm Elder Pike. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so then the people would you say, hey, and you kind of talk to them at the door, and then they would either come talk to you or they say, oh, come on in, you talk or whatever. And I remember we went into this one with one, some of my friends, and this girl I thought was really pretty, and we were talking, and we like hit it off, and she's like laughing, and I had a full head of hair then, as he probably highlighted the highlights, and Frosted six tips. pack of abs. I mean, I, you know, oh my your god, tips. what? I had Making me nervous <laughs> is thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> your legs get weak. Look at that change. <laughs> she dodged uh, many bullets, but anyway, so we go back, and this is before like everyone had a cell phone, and so she called where I was staying. And she was talking to my friend, and she was like, do you think your friend likes me? You know, I really hit it off. I'd like to go on a date with him. I'm like, oh, this is freaking awesome. It's my first day here. And so we set up a date for that weekend. And first of all, I just got back from a mission. I'm a freshman in college, although I'm not 21, but you go on a mission at 19. So there's a lot of 21-year-old freshmen right. at our church school. And so I pick her up with my feet because I don't have a car. So I have to go to her dorm. And luckily, the way the college set up, you can walk to places. We go to the, some place we eat, and then we go to like what would be considered like a – like a bicentennial garden at night. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it was really pretty. You're and not all... going to the bar. No. No. <laughs> no There's bars no bar there. there. No yeah. bars there. That no. garden is lit. <laughs> 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 and we go there and like the flirting, you know, you know, you know, I was 21 and she was flirting like hardcore and I go in for the kiss and legit, just like Rihanna did to Drake, turn her head. Oh. And because she, you, I usually don't, I usually don't go in for a kiss unless I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. And she goes, I don't kiss on the first date. And I was uh, so like humiliated. Yeah, but that doesn't yeah. mean you ran away and she, cried. I, yeah, I, I, you were I, at a Mormon school. That, that I, checks no, out. I know, I know. Checks out. I know, but I just didn't know. But just, they're quick, Josie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You might not kiss on the first date. You'll be married in three months. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. yeah. And then I was like, "You want to go back home?" Like I didn't know what to do, so I just walked her back home. I never talked to her again. Never. No. Wow. What's huh. her name? Can wow. we look her up? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Man, Seriously. Boy, the one that got away. Yeah. Well. <laughs> she's she's, yeah. she's yeah. probably the lucky one. Yes, he was. All right, let's go to Morgan. Morgan, uh, tell us about the time you got rejected. I met a guy on Tinder, and I asked him out to the movies. Um, and when we got to the movies, we were in the parking lot, and before we went in, he was like, you're really not that attractive. I don't think that we should be going in together. What an angle. Ooh. What an angle. Oh you got the good point, Morgan. Oh, oh, oh. Was his name Jason Goodman? <laughs> 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 His feelings are hurt. I would never do it was that. Jason or Jared? <laughs> yeah, I would never say that. I would fake I it. I would never do that to somebody. If I found yeah, out man. you did, I'd hurt you. I'd be internally disappointed, but I'm sure they are too. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, man. All right. Did you go out with. But the... now. Uh, go ahead. No, 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 no. no. Um, now he's um, without a job and, you know, he has two baby mamas, so um, I feel better about the situation. Exactly. There you go. But... <laughs> Not that you kept track or anything. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You've clearly let it go. <laughs> <laughs> don't think about it at all. <laughs> he hadn't crossed my mind a day since. Don't even I stop on social media all the time. Mm. Uh, good call. Let's go to Katie. Uh, tell us about the time you got shut down. Hey, um, actually, I did the shutting down at first. Um, my now fiance and I had been working together for a few months, and he asked me out, and I said no because I knew uh, later that year I'd be going off to the army, um, didn't want to start anything before leaving. And, um, after some convincing from other coworkers and, you know, just, he played it pretty cool. Um, we went on a date and 
Now we're getting in mar- married in May. So oh, about wow. six, months, six years later. <laughs> Wow. Well, there it goes. Just wasn't the right time. Shut down to wow. marriage. Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for thank serving, you. And serving our country. We appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Chuck. Chuck, tell us about the time you got rejected. Oh, man. So, uh, AML, I appreciate y'all always making the day. I got shot down three times in two days <laughs> by women that claim to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> claim to be. Well, you know, it's the craziest thing. They're pretty attractive. And uh, I walked up to one of them, beautiful smile. I'm like, oh, my God, he has the most beautiful smile. Well, thanks. And I'm addicted to smiles. I thought that was pretty dang good. But obviously she creepy. didn't because the next week, she was, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> in this age, you kind of got to think a little bit. But, yeah, the next weekend, she's with her husband. All three of them were actually like, oh. God. Mm. So wow. They, so they weren't you, gay. They were married. They, weren't, they said they were gay, but they were married, which is an odd thing to say. <laughs> so maybe saying, they were ma- yeah. married to other women. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, we said husband. Uh, just get away from me. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. It's, it's tough for women because they get hit on. Thank you, Chuck, all the time. But it's yeah. also difficult for men. Getting rejected sucks. Oh. So you can put right. yourself out there and they're Awful. like, I don't like yeah. you as a human being. You're like, okay, I'll yes. just be over here crying. <laughs> Squid, we, I've seen you be rejected many times. Oh, yeah. It probably you, happens every other week, if not on a weekly basis, probably on Instagram, Hinge, whatever. But I mean, I've just learned to accept it. You know, did that. You, the more the more rounds you shoot, the less aim it takes. Yeah, what's, so, what's the, so <laughs> I mean, oh my what's god, the example. Um, I have like up a concrete example at the top of my head. I can't think of a, a concrete example because it happens so often. You know, you just gotta shoot your shot, and then not, normally it's not gonna work out. But maybe one in every ten will, and then all it's right. like all right, and then you just don't don't take it personal. You just keep rolling with it, and then Jason's eventually writing a radio note that he's gonna share with you later. Yeah, no, I, I should. Have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can share with you now. Yeah, we were doing. Everyone was sharing specific stories for I know. Oh, 10, 15 minutes. I know. And we I was invested in listening. And, 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 and then I didn't think about you, mine. And you just go, I don't have a story. It happens really. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can think of one. In when Savannah. we were at the, in Boone, oh. and what? you know where everybody dresses in comforters. Oh, yeah. And, and you see beat me. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Did yeah. Yeah. I did not. I did not. I said, go over there. And he went up to the group of girls. They were all talking. Mm-hmm. He tried to get in the group. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That were, yeah, that, yeah. That time. Yeah. And there was a whole group of girls there. Oh, yeah. And he like kind of just nicely put... What did you say? Some oh, yeah, kind I of can't, joke. I said something real nice, and it's similar to happened to me and Jared. I just said something like, I can't remember what I said, some like lighthearted joke, and they're yeah. like, get out of here. <laughs> I thought they were going like, to call security. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. Mm. I was I was from standing from a distance. I'm like, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did he do? I've seen yeah. Squid do this at the Grasshoppers game. He yeah. get violently rejected. Yeah. By a, and he, he's very, he, and his approach is like really nice. And he's like, yeah. hey, I hear y'all, I see y'all having a conversation. I'm, you know, he'll yeah. say something like kind of, like I think very vanilla. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, I think the one person said, get the f away from me. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, oh my Woo! goodness. Well, you, you would think I said something sexual or like, no. like yeah. harassed him or something, but like I'm like, you know, I think what I happens said, is he must be polarizing because when we were in Savannah, when we were all there, the next thing you know, he's making out with three different girls. I know, yes. and one of them was supposed to be his wife. Right. Yeah. 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 That's and what I'm saying. You just gotta shoot until sometimes it works you. out. Sometimes yeah, like, she did oh. reject you. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah. All right, we all shoot our shots. We all have been rejected, and for men, we definitely get rejected more because we shoot more shots.